It is a metaphor for America's lousy infrastructure. It's called a summer of hell at Pennsylvania Station in New York City, back to 1910, in the gorgiosity of the original Boarts building, never changed, I should say, in 1963-64 when it was destroyed. There's the old uh, station right now. Among other things, there is Moynihan. Senator Den Daniel Patrick Moynihan in the Depression shine shoes at the old Penn Station. And Emma Chandra is at the new ugly Penn Station to get us to the Moynihan. Emma, how bad is it and when do we get to Moynihan? Hello, Tom. It's not looking too bad this morning. We're in the Amtrak Hall at the moment. There's a number of people who are queuing up for trains right behind <coughs> me. But all three major railroads, uh, Amtrak, New Jersey Transit, and the Long Island Railroad, will all be affected. The 650,000 commuters who use Penn Station uh, every day are going to see some serious uh, commuter problems throughout these eight weeks of summer, the summer of hell, as it's been dubbed by New York Governor right. Andrew Cuomo. <clears throat> And that hellish experience could actually extend beyond September the 1st because there's a lot more that needs to be done here, Tom. It always takes one politician to make it happen. We saw that with Chip O'Neill in the big dig in Boston a million years ago. Emma Chandler, does President Trump want to fix his New York City train station? I think that's what a lot of investors, I think a lot of employers in New York will definitely want to see. President Trump has spoken about spending a trillion dollars on infrastructure to make the necessary upgrades. And what you're seeing here at Penn Station is part of a wider problem of a lack of infrastructure spending. We're going to see these eight weeks of work here, but there's, it's, going to have to, it's going to have to extend beyond that. There are vital repairs needed to bridges and tunnels, and a huge amount of money needs to be invested. I think a lot of people are keeping their fingers crossed that President Trump will be able to deliver here. Emma, three derailments this year. Why have they picked these eight weeks? Sorry, Guy, I didn't quite hear you there. Why, why these eight weeks? We're talking about a summer of hell, so why have they done it now? Well, we've, as you mentioned, Guy, there have been three derailments since April. One of them only <laughs> happened last week. The decision was taken that immediate work needed to be done in order to improve platforms to replace tracks. There will be three tracks out of action at any one time across the three weeks that will be rolling. And it was seen as vitally important for the safety of passengers and also for the future of Penn Station. 